welcome to the section understanding convolution networks in this section we'll go through some basic image processing understand how the convolution operation works and implement a convolution layer using cafe 2 in this video learn about how machines learn to see interpreting the visual world is one of those things that's so easy for humans we are hardly even conscious we are doing it when we see something whether it's a car or a tree we don't usually have to consciously study it before we can tell what it is. For a computer, however, identifying a human being at all represents an amazingly difficult problem. In theory, we could use conventional neural networks to analyze images. However, in practice, this turns out to be prohibitively expensive from a computational perspective. Fortunately, a relatively straightforward change to the way a neural network is structured can make even large images more manageable. The result is what we call convolutional neural networks. One of the advantages of neural networks is their general applicability. But as we've seen, when dealing with images, this advantage turns into a liability. CNNs make a conscious trade-off. By designing a network specifically to handle images, we sacrifice some generalizability for a much more feasible solution. Specifically, CNNs take advantage of the fact that in any given image, proximity is strongly correlated with similarity. That is, two pixels that are near one another in a given image are more likely to be related than two pixels that are further apart. However, in a typical neural network, every pixel gets connected to every single neuron. In this case, the added computational load actually makes our network less rather than more accurate. 